Our children are leading the way, in both finding the names of their ancestors needing temple ordinances, and in going to the temple to perform the ordinances for them. Things I have found fascinating recently is that among the different age groups within the church, the age group increasing most rapidly in submitting names for temple ordinances are children. Sister Jones, this is an invitation, not a command. Anything you would care to offer about children and what we're talking about with temple and family history work plans and coordination? I would love to, Elder Bednar, thank you. Honestly, I've been doing a little research. I've been talking to temple presidencies in our area and asking what they've noticed in their baptistries lately. It's been quite remarkable to hear that children are coming to the temple. They're taking, they embrace this uh, age group progression so beautifully, moved into young men and young women, and recognized the opportunity to qualify for limited use recommends. They're coming to the temple, but not only are they coming to the temple, they are coming with family names to perform ordinances for. And this is even better. They're bringing their families with them. That's what I've been told over and over. They are bringing their families with them. They are leading us. The children have the ability to lead out. They love the temple. And I've talked to many 11-year-olds who have already committed to be in the temple every week. So Thank that's pretty much. exciting. Thank you. Thank you very much.